Now, the Victorian government has announced a $5 million package to better support young people from South Sudanese backgrounds. It comes as political tensions continue to simmer over youth crime, which has left Melbourne's African-Australian community feeling under attack. James Hancock reports. These women want to get on with life. I don't feel safe when I go to the shop. They follow us around like we are going to steal something. We hear something in the media which doesn't link at all to what I know or what I see within the community. They've been caught up in a political debate about crime linked to African-Australian youth. There is real concern about street crime in Melbourne. There is real concern yeah, but, about but Sudanese gangs. From, why do we store up trouble for ourselves by letting in people who are going to be difficult, uh, difficult to integrate? We are not all the same. South Sudanese are not the only people that are committing crime in Australia. It's kind of confronting when um, hearing stuff about your community or about yourself, you know, as a South Sudanese woman, that there's these things happening and somehow you're involved. So the Victorian government's $5.5 million funding announcement is timely. It'll be spent on three dedicated support groups for South Sudanese youth and their families at Werribee, Melton and Dandenong. This has been a while coming and this has been a definite gap uh, in the service area. One of the support groups will be overseen by the Wyndham Community and Education Centre, which is already helping the women to secure careers. I study like aged care, I study disability. I have two qualifications that can help me find job, but I don't know anybody that can help me find that job. But now I'm connected with the right people, yes. I'm seeing a window that I'm going to get there. The other groups will be managed by the Centre for Multicultural Youth. There are a lot of South Sudanese young people who are graduating out of universities. Unfortunately, the unemployment rate is much higher. It's not known yet exactly what support will be provided. That'll be guided by local reference groups made up of community leaders and young people. But the funding is only for a year. We will be having conversations towards the end of the 12 months about um, possible future funding. James Hancock reporting there.